Good morning! Have you ever dreamed of cutting down the number of hours you spend editing your photos? Personally, yes, because what I would prefer to be is to be on the field shooting and spending time with my family rather than stuck in front of my laptop. So today we have something incredible to discover together. In just a few minutes, this software right there is supposed to be able to edit hundreds of photos. Recently, Imagine AI contacted me to sponsor this video and try the solution which edits for you and like you. It seemed a little too good to be true, so I contacted a few of my friends photographers who are pros and shoot weddings and I asked them, do you use this? Have you heard of it? And they replied that they love it. So let's go. I've prepared about 300 very varied photos that we're gonna open and edit together with the software. It goes from landscape to street to portraits. So let's take all these photos. Let's open Imagine AI. I'm pressing use profile to edit. I choose the Lightroom catalog they are in, I choose the collection and let's press start and see how long it takes. Wow, okay, it only took a few minutes for 300 photos, which is crazy. So let's see together in video how it works, what my results are on this experiment, how you can make the most of the software and make sure you watch until the end to avoid the big trap I fell into using Imagine at the beginning. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, we have a lot to dig into today and I'm curious to compare the results to what I edited because all those photos have been edited by myself before I actually send them to Imagine. So I'm curious to see the result. But first things first, if you don't know me, my name is Pierre Tillambert. I'm a travel photographer and the creator of the 30 day to great photos, a step-by-step -step method to training your eyes to take better photos, no matter what kind of gear you're using so that you love your work too. Now, I also share free tutorials on this YouTube channel. So if you want to see more, if you want to learn and grow with me, make sure sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Let's talk about how this works and we'll review how it edited my photos in just a second. The first thing to understand is that it has to learn how to edit like you. It's a software that's based on AI that's going to learn based on all the work you did before. It will learn how you edit and try to edit the same way as you. I prepared about 4,900 photos and I set it to create my own profile. I went to personal AI profile, then I just followed the prompt, then I gave it a name and I chose all the photos that I wanted to be part of the learning process. Once that's done, all those photos are sent to the software. The software is gonna crunch everything. It's been crunching for a while. Now they recommend 3,000 photos to really get the profile ready, but they recommend actually going above and beyond up to 7,000 photos to really fine tune the details and your profile. So for the quick story, when I was a professional photographer, very quickly I started using outsourcing to retouch my photos, to edit them. Why? Because it allowed me to spend more time with my family, more time on the shoot, more time doing business development and spend less time editing photos. If you're ever a pro, if you ever consider being a pro, to me it sounds crazy to still go through thousands of images for a wedding, especially when they're very similar. So I used the company to do that and a lot of my friends are using this and I can tell why very quickly. It is free for you to try the software. There's a link in the description. Just try it right now. Download it. You have a thousand five hundred images for free that you can use. It's a no-brainer. See if it works for you. We have a profile that's ready and after that you can literally start using it for editing your photos. So are you ready to look at what it did on the photos together? The photos are edited. I am just downloading them and it opens up Lightroom again and I'm back in my collection with the photos edited by Imagine. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that on the landscape shots, we're very close in all the tones. Now, a lot of my images had a masks, like local masks, so it will be a little different. This image with the monolith, uh, clearly I did have more contrast than what the profile came up with. So the street photos are very close. Even this night shot comes out almost exactly the same. Uh, sure, there is a more light in the version from Imagine than mine. This uh, quick fix or tuning to do. Yeah, this photo is really impressive in Tokyo because this is exactly how I would do it side by side. Yeah, it's very close. Just a tiny adjustment and we are there. 
Wow, okay. There is something about the night photos that it, it comes out more like my daytime photos than the nighttime photos I edited, which probably makes sense. Maybe I mix too many things. We'll talk about that after. This photo with the monkey, the tones are almost the same. Maybe mine is a little warmer overall uh, than the one that was edited. And there is mask that was added on my photo on the left rather than on the right from Imagine. But again, I did not ask Imagine to do masking on those photos. This one, with the lady on the side and, and the temple very similar I think mine is just a little warmer the portrait is pretty different but I will say the way it edited the portrait is very close to one of my preset applied or my style but it's just this one I edited a little differently and put a lot of masking to create separation on that image so I had a lot of different mask on it but look at this like if I look at this image it's very very close to what I do even those night images came out really nice I would totally imagine myself editing it like this but in the moment I edited it differently now the person walking here with the Doton Bori like reflect Reflection. I can tell that on the left I would actually I shot uh, I sorry I edited with a much cooler tone and that's like kind of consistent I feel like a, a, across all those night shots also it got a little darker so what it makes me think is I'll probably have to work differently with the night photos. We'll talk about that in a second. These photos I think are a little difficult for the, the process and maybe I would need a different profile for these because there's so much contrast and I edited a little differently and also I noticed that they are much cooler than what I would like. The one with the tuna and the promo here this is great, uh, very similar to what I do. Maybe I have a little more highlights here and my blacks are not as crushed. I mean, overall, I'm sure if I send you the photos, you'd be like, yeah, this is pretty much Pierre style. So there's very little adjustments to make. But if you want to actually fine tune your profile, you can, and this is the magic part. You literally go to your profile and you go adjust AI profile. You choose a raw image and or two or three or four, and you can see the profile apply to them. And then you can tell the software, okay, you know what? I want all the photos to be a little warmer than what you came up with. I want the exposure to be a little higher. It's a correction from the AI value. You know, it's not an absolute value that you would have in Lightroom. It's actually a correction. And then I have the correction for the shadows and I did the correction for the clarity. This really allows to fine tune the profile to your liking. Now, the big caveat, 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 caveat. I don't know, maybe you can help me here. The big one is I think for the photos that are very different and in most situations for most people it won't happen but I end up having a very diverse style so I made a huge mistake when I trained my profile I ended up training a profile on variety of photos landscape portraits uh, night photos, daytime photos, street, street at night. And what ended up happening is a profile that worked honestly in 85% of the cases. But now what do we do for those 15, 20% ca cases that are left, especially for example, my night street photography and urban environment that I did a lot cooler. So the easiest way you can fix that is simply to take your main profile and press duplicate. Once you have the duplicated profile, you can adjust your AI profile like we did earlier. And here you can make it look cooler. Just in the basics, you go and make it way cooler and then adjust, for example, if you want more lifted shadows or less lifted shadows in that. I think this is the easiest and most simple way. That way you can train really the software with all your images and then duplicate and segment into different areas depending on what you're trying to do. And the other option I actually also did was to create another profile that I trained with only daytime street photos. There is an overlap between those two profiles, but it was only with daytime street photos so that it doesn't learn from any of my night photos and it was very specific for my daytime photography, okay? I believe and from my understanding, it adapts to different lighting conditions. It's just how I edit at night is actually different. Now, if I'm doing events, if I'm doing weddings, etc., it's usually consistent across the board. But maybe I'm gonna go more cyberpunk at night when I'm doing urban photography. And last option for you, which is also even easier, especially if you don't have enough photos to train, if you're not sure how to do it, you can go to the profile showcase and use one of the talent profile to edit. So for example, there is Love and Light that 
and body language those two profiles have been trained with over 100,000 images apparently the body language and they're extremely consistent in the results the more photo you feed to your profile the more it will learn so what i suggest is honesty if you need to segment duplicating that main profile that master profile and then adjusting will do marvels or if you know you have extremely separate like nighttime photography right or star photography another one that's going to be street photography maybe segmented but try at the beginning to create a master profile see how it works for you because it works marvels for thousands of users imagine was telling me so not everyone needs to segment but in my case i mean i do underwater photography i did overwater i do landscape i did street i do portraits like the way you edit a, a photo of a whale is not going to be the same you're going to edit a night of a street photography in chicago so thanks to that mistake i learned like how to adapt so you have three solutions the first one is train a different profile Second one is to simply duplicate the, your profile and rename it and adjust it for what your needs are. And you can also try a talent profile, which to see how versatile it can be for your photos. So I'm actually very excited to refine my profile because on the next trip, there is no way I'm going to edit the thousand photos. I'm going to send it straight to Imagine get back the results and then adjust whatever needs to be done. For Nepal, I had thousand plus photos to edit. Now with this, it's gonna get me the crop. Even if I want, it's gonna correct the horizon. It's gonna apply a look and style that I actually find extremely close to my style. And it's gonna correct the exposure and all that straight inside and in a few minutes. Now you may be asking yourself, why not just the preset? Well, the presets are awesome and I'd love to use them and they're very helpful to save time, but I can't apply the same preset to a thousand photos i can't make the small exposure ad adjustments very easily to a thousand photos and that is why i'm actually excited by this solution because it will allow me to save time doing all those tiny tasks that take hour and hour so avoid the mistake i made don't group all your photos classify your landscape your street daytime your street nighttime and create a profile for each it is free for you to try the software there's a link in the description just try it right now download it you have a thousand five hundred images for free that you can use it's a no-brainer see if it works for you if you've tried it let me know in the comments what you think about it at the end of the day if you're a professional photographer you need to be saving the time that you're spending editing okay you need to shave that off i can't believe i still have friends who edit manually all their photos for shoots, for events, for weddings. I think it's cool to want to edit manually, but just learn from what you've done over those past years and let the machine help you with that. And then you do the fine tuning and you do some creative edits on the ones that you want. Again, it's not removing it. If you're an amateur photographer, I think this can be an extremely helpful tool, especially if like me, you love to have thousands of photos that are sitting on a hard drive unedited. You could use this to edit all those photos you never touch and get a result that would be as close as if you had done it yourself. If you don't have those 3000 photos for you to teach the algorithm how to edit like you, you can actually get paid profiles from other photographers. If I make mine available, I'll put it in the description. It's extremely helpful. It will save you time, energy, and you can try different styles also. Now, if you want to nail the right exposure in camera, watch this video and make sure you get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Thank you, Imagine. Try it. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.